What's going on guys? So I just went ahead and um, loaded up the kayak. It is uh, 5.35 in the morning. And I know we haven't done a video in such a long time, guys. Um, I've been busy with work and gym and things like that. But today, uh, being that fish cost and everything else has been going up with inflation, we are needing some fish for the uh, for the um, refrigerator. Since we've been doing meal preps and things like that, um, usually I eat salmon or tuna or things like that. But I noticed that salmon started going up about five or ten bucks. I'm not too sure how much. Maybe I'm exaggerating. But... Um, so today what I want to do is I want to see if I can go out there and catch some redfish, maybe some speckled trout, and hopefully some sheephead. Um, you know, typically the sheephead I don't typically catch on the kayak a lot. Um, that's more when I go to the jetties or the pier. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can catch a sheephead as well, or maybe even some small black drums, um, and see if we can load up the, uh, the refrigerator with at least three or four good sized fish uh, so we can meal prep for the, for the next week for the gym. But anyways, guys, um, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, it's, it, you know, I haven't been on the kayak in such a long time. I just loaded it up. It's right here on the truck. It's been super, um, the kayak's super dirty right now. I had it just laying under the tree and uh, it had leaves all over the place. I'm um, in the cup holders. It's been rained on, so it's got water all over the place. So I'm hoping with the drive, a lot of those leaves fly off, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them are gonna stay in there. But it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go see if they have some live shrimp at the bait shop. If they don't, um, then I'm going to be using the casting net to see if we can catch some live mullet, um, shrimp, anything we can catch with the casting net so we can use. Um, so let's go ahead and get on the road and I'll turn the camera back on once we get there. We're going to uh, Puente de Lobos, Highway 48 and see what happens. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. On the Texas made lure. What is this? Oh, what is this? It should be a trout, I would imagine. Oh, it's a redfish. Small redfish. Hey, but it's a start. It's a start. I'll take it, baby. Woo! It's a good little start. Hey, check it out. We got a little redfish on a good little start and i've never caught what the hell is going on with this thing i've never caught a redfish guys on on this color lure but this thing working or not that's sd what anyways so this guy's obviously obviously gonna be too small guys but it's still uh, an, a, a nice little redfish. Let me see if I can get a get it on the camera here. Uh, the other, I need to fix the other camera. Something is acting up right now. But look at that cute, nice little redfish on the uh, Texas made lure on the pink and white one. So that's good. At least we got a little redfish on the board so far. Nothing big, but hey, I haven't caught a redfish in a good minute. So for me, that's pretty exciting. So exciting that I'm gonna take a picture of it. And I wish I could, I wish I could, I should have got it with the, uh, with the Texas made lure in his mouth, but got a little excited there. Well, it is what it is guys, you know. So I think a lot of the video footage I had on this one, so I'm gonna have to just reset it, delete all the, since I had to reformat it. But oh well, let's throw it again. And uh, let's see if we can land another another redfish, but maybe we can get, maybe we can land the keeper this time. It would be cool. And it's, it's surprising because again, like I said, I've been catching nothing but trout on this colored lure. I've never caught a redfish on it, so that was pretty cool. Hey right, guys, I don't know if you can tell, but that rain cloud on my left side doesn't look too pretty. So, whew, and it's getting windy. So I'm trying to see if I can. Oh, that the cold front coming in. Oh, it's getting cold. Whew, got freaking cold. I'm trying to paddle back. 
before the wind picks up. Cold front already came in. Shit. Got really windy. I gotta get to the shallow before this thing flips me. Almost there. Shit. Hitting oysters. Came out of nowhere. I'm gonna have to put myself right here.
I need help. I'm fucking stuck. And it's fucking windy. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have to leave my kayak here uh, stranded. I'm stuck here. I can't go anywhere. Yes, sir. I'm uh, I'm fi kayak fishing at the boat ramp on Highway 48. I'm in my kayak, and the wind picked up out of nowhere, and I'm kind of stuck, and, and I can't move anywhere, and I'm uh, against the mangroves and stuff, and I'm pretty. I'm like, yes, sir. I'm I'm, uh, I'm fishing at the uh, at the kayak. I'm sorry, at the boat ramp on Highway 48 on my kayak. But uh, the wind picked up just all of a sudden and I'm kind of, the water pushed me all the way to the side of the, by the mangroves. I think I'm about 150 yards, 200 yards away from the boat ramp. And uh, I'm kind of stuck here. I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do. If I should, uh, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the, uh, the kayak. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. There's a whole... It's just... I don't know how fast this wind speed is, but it's got to be at least 40 miles an hour. Maybe 45. I almost flipped the kayak over. But... I have it here. I'm just stranded. It's the first time this ever happened. It's kind of scary. I don't have a life jacket on. And, uh... I'm not too... I'm not sure how... If they can't even get a boat through there to get over here. So I'm kind of stranded. And uh man. All my stuff is getting wet. Uh I'm trying to just I'm trying to see if I can I, I was trying to put my kayak into the mangroves here so I can try to kind of hide from all the water but I, I wasn't able to get in I was trying to back it up so the water's hitting my my bow and uh shit
back in. Then we just have to move my kayak forward. A fan boat, I think, or a helicopter. I don't know. It's gotta be a fan boat.
piece of yarn. You want to sit down here, the wind won't hit you as much. All right. guys so thanks thanks a lot for watching the whole video if you watched it um it was a crazy video very intense uh crazy life experience for myself and the only thing that i that i want you guys to take away from this video after watching the chaos and everything that happened is if you're a kayaker and you like fishing uh make sure that you have a plan a b and c uh ready if in case something does happen make sure you have a pfd make sure you have a whistle something that's gonna help you um alarm other people if something happens with you um but you know me myself um i, I didn't have a pfd on me th that day um typically i don't use it because I'm, i usually fish shallow water which is two to three feet of water so i don't really think i need it but a hey, lesson learned um and i do want to give a big shout out to the game wardens that went out there um again uh those guys were were amazing uh the ambulance people uh, the fire rescue people that went out there as well and tried getting me out before that. Um, there was two boats that went out before that. One got stuck, the other one broke, and then the game warden ended up having to go out there. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, I am going to post the second part uh, probably the next couple of days uh, where I went out there and retrieved the kayak and got it and brought it back home um, because we the game warden did tie it down. Um, so I already actually have it, um, because I'm videoing this after the fact, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and make the video for you guys. Um, and I'll show you exactly where it was. Um, I think I got some drone footage of where it was located. So I'll go ahead and put that out there for you. But with that being said, guys, thank you very much again for watching the video out.